Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at Porcupine Tree's The Blind House. We are in drop D tuning and we start with the intro. We start with an E flat power chord and an open D. From there we go to a D octave, an F octave and a C sharp octave. So you play the always in between. Then we add a note with a pinky. string that's um the intro I'm gonna play it for you Starts with a D minor. From there we go to this chord. It's we go six on the A string, three on the D string, uh, five on the D string, I'm sorry. Also five on the G string. Uh, it's a it's a bar chord. We go seven on the G string with our pinky. So after the D, that's the next chord. Then we lift up our pinky, and we have this chord. on the A string, 3 on the D string, 3 on the G string, and 5 on the G string. Then we lift up our pinky again. one goes so four on the A string three on the D string three on the G string and five on the G string Now we're going to take a look at the last part, which is the chorus, 
we go to a power chord, the G power chord, and we add something's wrong with the camera at the moment, I'm sorry. So um, we start with a G power chord and we add this note on our D string on the 7th fret. And we have the same uh, shape on the 1st uh, fret with an uh, E flat power chord. flat major 7 to E flat major 7. So we have major 7, we go to this chord, which is only the E flat note, one fret up to an E. Okay, so the final part goes like this after Stephen Wilson sings. You don't need, you know, the secrets Believe me, they go So, a power chord on the 13th fret And a 14th fret on the G string to 15th fret, a little hammer on. Yes, that's it. So the whole chorus goes like this. That's it, thanks for watching and see you next time.